Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to your Minecraft server. And what this does is it means you can join your server using your domain as the IP. So it can definitely be very, very useful. So let's get right into it. The first, we need to get our server's IP. So of course, we want to come down to the IP right here and then just click copy IP. And then we want to go to GoDaddy. If you go to GoDaddy.com, you can then go to your name and then go to my products. From here, you then want to click on your domain and then we can go to the DNS tab and then click on manage zones. Whereas we're in here, we then want to click view and here we have our DNS records. And then simply we want to delete everything that we can delete. So click delete and then delete record on all of these. All right, so we've now deleted all the ones that we actually can delete. So now we're gonna click add and then for a type, we're then gonna select A and then for the name, there's a few things that you can put. You can put play, which means your server's IP will be play dot and then your domain. You could put mc, so it'll be mc dot your domain, or you could do an at, which will simply just be connecting through your exact domain. And for this, I'm gonna put play. All right, so next we have the value. And for this, we're gonna simply put in our IP. However, we're not quite done yet. Once you've put in your IP, you then want to get rid of the port at the end. If you do have a dedicated IP, you can simply just put the whole IP. And then for the TTL, we will leave that at default. We'll then click add record, it's updating the DNS record, and there we go, it has now been added. Now there's one more record that we're going to need to make. We're going to have to make an SRV record. So click add, and then for the type, we're going to select SRV. Then it will change a few options here. So for the service, we're going to want to put in underscore Minecraft. Once you put in underscore Minecraft, for the protocol, we're going to want to put in underscore TCP. And then for the name, we're going to choose the same name as we chose last time. And as I said, it'll be play, MC, or at. And mine was play, so we'll select that once again. And then for the value, we're going to put our full domain. And this also includes having play at the start. So my full domain will be play.strangestand.co.uk. So basically put play in front of your domain. For priority, we're going to put this to 5. The weight, we're going to put to 0. And then for the port, if we look on our IP right here, we have all the numbers and then pass the colon, 25585, this will be your port. So then we'll paste it in. And with the TTL, we'll also leave that at default. We can then click add record. It's adding the DNS record. And then there we go. So now that this is done, it could take up to 48 hours. However, most commonly they do take around one hour. So once it has updated, we're going to go ahead and try to join our server using this new IP. So the new IP will be play.strangestan.co.uk. Alright, so we've now loaded into Minecraft. I did say previously that it does take around an hour, but it actually took around five minutes to update for me. So anyway, we'll go to multiplayer, add server, and then we'll type in our new IP, which was play.strangestan.co.uk. So now we have our server address and we'll click done. And as you can see, our Minecraft server has been found. And as you can see, we have now joined our server. So it's very, very easy, as well as also quite important if you are planning to make a public server, as I'm sure you don't want to be giving out an IP, which is just a long string of numbers. So having a customized IP can be really, really nice. Also, of course, that you can make it anything you want. It's just even better. You can also see we are in the server as connected players. It has me down here. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully it has been helpful, and if it has, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.